When a team makes it this far, they're up against some pretty stiff competition. Dick, let's see how they'll fare in this final four matchup between the West Virginia Mountaineers and the Kentucky Wildcats. Hey, Brad, the NCAA tournament is the reward. After a long season of practices, tough games, and all of those other rigors, the tournament is their pinnacle. The Wildcats are looking at a very tough opponent, Dick. What have they got to do to win? Hey, they've got to do the following things if they want to be successful. First of all, don't let them get too many open looks from beyond the three-point line. Next, give your big men the ball. Let them attack from down low. And lastly, you got to pound the board. Boards lead to wins, baby. All right, there you have it. Let's get to the action. See what's in store for us. He keeps the dribble as they reset. Harris handles the feed. That was nice. Time to pick up the defense here now. Trying to draw the foul. In and out. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. Inside. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting the good inside angle. A poor job defensively. No help. I mean, that is post play at its best. Fed the low block. Looking for the foul. Terrell was a highly touted recruit, if my memory serves me correctly. He was highly recruited out of high school. Hopefully he'll continue to develop and really blossom into something special. And he'll kick it back outside. We got a whistle and a foul. Oh, and look at the crowd and look at the reaction. I think the home fans are going crazy. There's jubilation. The post flashes up high if he wants it. The power forward receives the pass. Looking for contact. Look at that drive. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> the center handles the pass. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Here they come now on a turnover. He hammers it home. You can almost see that coming. They were a little bit lazy on the defensive end. Just through excitement with that jam. Inside. Picks off the lazy pass. Harris receives the ball. They really seem to be letting this one get away, Dick. Yeah, there's been a breakdown somewhere. They need to talk this one over, Brad. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. He's pounding the ball to the deck. Where's he going? Jump hook from the low block. That's a great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. Shows patience, waiting for the reset. They work the perimeter, trying to pack it inside. Gets it back out. He makes a nice shot fake. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. High post screen, gonna use it. Ten seconds to shoot. He'll regroup the offense. Fakes a jumper. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. On the dribble, gives it up. He unloads a three. There was no doubt about that one. That's 11 unanswered. It'll be interesting to see the level of energy, Dick, when they come out of this timeout. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. 
It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. It sticks. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. Shepard is emotionally fired up. Hey, can you blame him, Brad? He's getting it done. Working it around the perimeter. He puts up the tray. The Mountaineers have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Brady's on fire. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. The fans at Rupp Arena are in an uproar. I think it's important to get to the free throw line, Brad. It demonstrates that you're playing aggressively and that you're not settling for the jumper. Good. for the Knights. Aaron Andrews on the sideline with Dick Vitale. I'm Brad Nestle. Nice to have you along with us. For the bucket. Perfectly executed. <laughs> Tries for two. And off the mark. Looking for a good shot. Gave it up. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. And he scores despite the hack. Pushing that basketball. Top of the circle. They work it around the perimeter. Gets it to fall. Going to move it around the perimeter. The crowd loves this young man. He means so much to the program. He's a consistent performer and always competes at a high level. He throws it up from downtown. He gets that one to fall. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Great play to take that to the basket. I think they're trying to make a statement. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. High post flashes for the ball handler. The skip pass is picked off. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. They work the perimeter. Trying to draw some contact. Up, oh, easy one. They work it around the perimeter. There's a double team waiting there from three-point territory. Goes up for two. In and out. That kid's making him think about every shot, Dick. And he's doing it without fouling, which is the key. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play.
There's the trap. He was doing a great job pressuring the ball and decided to go for the steal. A questionable decision, though, on his part because it resulted in the foul. God, that's what happened when the defense is too aggressive and looking for the steal. Looks at the three. Tickles a twine. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. Has a nice look at the basket. They work it back to the outside. For two, he keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Up and inside! Offense gets it back after that ball was knocked loose. Perfectly executed. Boy, terrible execution on offense. Nick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help soft. Dribble gives it up. Double team now, bad angle. Get that sucker out of the game, man. Nothing's gonna come easy tonight, baby. They are really playing for keeps. Gave it up. He takes the shot from the baseline. The Wildcats have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. a bad pass right to the defender they've got a three-point shooter spotting up the ball goes out of bounds let's go to the third member of our broadcast team here's Aaron Andrews Brad before the game the coaches told us their only worry was their team getting down too early now that this team has the players are trying very hard not to panic and put it all together. All right, thanks, Aaron. From way outside, he makes the shot. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Moving it around the perimeter. the dribble gives it up jumped in front to take it away pressure that basketball help one another communicate and one too many dribbles and a steal here we go on the break Kentucky have put together somewhat of a run here maintaining it is the key though they've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court picked off The defender's doing a great job of applying ball pressure. Now they work it around the perimeter. They say forget about it, and then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over. Nice hops. And he goes with a spin. I tell you, feel the defensive player on your hip going one way, the spin back the other way. Gave it up. He intercepts it. On the outside. From the top of the circle. He's money with a shot. They come with a double team to stop it. Good job defensively. 
Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Intercepted. Pushes it up. Long down court pass. And the slam. Looking for a good shot. On the dribble, gives it up. Picks off the pass. And a momentary look from three-point land. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. West Virginia are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. Now the kick out. Steals a pass. Gave it up. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Dump it inside. He launches the bomb, makes it. Post defensively, great anticipation in the steal. You can see they did a great job studying in film. They anticipated that ball coming to that post. That's worth another look. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I tell you, really, a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and under move, and he does it exceptionally well. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Tries for two, and off the mark. it rejected defense did a great job with the block shot here they come trying to run again they work it around the perimeter high post flashes he didn't have the good angle they should have got it to him about a second earlier Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block I tell you a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you that spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the blocked shot. Takes the pass in the paint. West Virginia have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. Picked out of the air. Had him in the low block, but opted against it on the inside. Count that as a personal foul. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? Good teams will get to the line often, but getting there is half the battle. You then must convert your free throws. Both. He converts on that free throw line, and that's major. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Got to take some pride on the defensive end. Tries a three. Goes in. Very soft defensively, no pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. <laughs> Takes away the pass. Look at that spacing. Shots there if he wants it. Too physical. 
Well, there's a turnover situation. I guess most notable the number of points off turnover. Well, Mr. Nestle, that's why you want to take care of the basketball. You want to protect it. Turnovers will result in points being scored at the other end. That's one statistic which coaches always monitor. Fakes the shot. Got a Both. nice screen. Jumps into the defender. Basket falls despite the contact. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Leans in. He puts it in with contact and all. Here's a double team. He takes a three. There's a double team waiting there. He wants a three, sinks it. Coach looks on. Focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. On the outside. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. And he scores it off the glass. Up and inside. Hickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Oh, and this packed house is showing their appreciation for their team. Well, there's euphoria out there. They're really excited. They're going bananas. He hits the first. Both free throws go. Controlling the ball. Long lead pass. Here's a flash from the high post. Nice high post screen. He looks for the bomb. Dick, he's in a serious rhythm. Hey, that's because he's getting the ball in rhythm, Brad. Very important. They work it around the perimeter. Puts it up, looking for contact. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Two for one opportunity. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're anticipating. Foul plus the bucket. Big time play on that one, Dick. You said it, Brad. Check that out. He's pumping up the crowd. He wants him to turn it up a notch. Hey, hey, he wants everyone to get up. He goes to the free throw line. He got it. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. He puts up the three ball. He sinks another basket. What are they going to do with this guy, Dick? I don't know, Brad, but they better do it quickly. They'll work it around the arc. Launches away. Dickie simply on fire. Hey, call the fire department, baby. This one's burning up. It takes the pass in the paint. Double team now, bad angle. They strip him in the basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. Just hoping for the best. Way off target. At halftime, the Mountaineers lead by 14. We have had a good first half of basketball, folks. Dick, give us your opinion on what set the tone in that opening half. Check out some of the inside play we witnessed in the first half. We saw some great baskets down low, which really opened up the outside range for both teams. It's time to get back to the court, Dick, and see how this second half plays out. Kentucky just couldn't seem to stop turning the ball over in that first half, Dick. 
hey, if you ask me, these guys haven't clued on the magnitude of this game yet. They need to take care of the ball from here on in, or they have no shot, and they'll be running lots of laps tomorrow in practice. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, as we know, this is it. Now, I could hear from both teams' huddles the excitement. They are ready to play and leave it all out on the floor. This is going to be an exciting second half. Thanks, Aaron. The Mountaineers have a player spotting up on the three. Dick, how's that backcourt comparison shaping up, do you think? Hey, Brad, that's a question that these coaches should be asking themselves. How can they, as coaches, get the most out of their guards? Are they quick enough to pressure the opponent, or offensively, can they create off the dribble? To me, it's about finding the weaknesses to reject it out of there. Up fake. Got a guy right up on him. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. The Mountaineers have got to continue to get him the ball. Brad, he's on fire. They work it around the perimeter. Shoots from the outside. No good. Big man spins down on the low block. Does a great job getting the defensive player to lean one way and spin back the other. Goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul. What a terrific job on a defense to beat him in the spot, Mr. Nessler. Try to come up with a steal, and they do. And a slam. That's a momentum buster. He's here to fight, baby. You better get rid of it, Brad. Gets the ball and now faces his man down in the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. For the deuce. They still don't score. The land. Can't get the shot to go. And the ball goes out of play. Boy, it's so important when you're getting points off turnovers. Look at that stat. I'll tell you one thing. Coaches go nuts. If that stat's negative, it absolutely makes you lose here. And you get balled like I am. Side. Picks off the lazy pass. Mr. Nestler looks like there'll be an easy two here. You betcha. The Mountaineers lead by 20. Picks off the lazy pass. For the bucket. Buried it. They scored seven in a row. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. Basket's good, and the foul. That's a big play. He was there when he needed him, baby. If you want to know how aggressive a team is, you check to see how many times they go to the free throw line. That's a great indicator. He missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle. Was locking on the box. Now the high screen. They work the perimeter. The shooting guard gets the pass. I'm going to 
not spacing. Nice steal there, but the offense gets the ball back. Jumped in front to take it away. On the dribble, gives it up. On the top of the key. He comes up empty. Pump fakes. That spin move's not going to work against a defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting close play because they were really anticipating the spin. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Puts up the tray. Off the rim and no good. He attempts the trifecta. And he lured the defender to the screen, giving him time to shoot the sweet J. The power forward gets the ball. That's good. There's the trap. Doesn't go. And he scores despite the hack. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. The shooting guard takes the feed. On the outside. Looking for a good shot. Dumping inside. On the outside. He gives him the fake. Jumped in front to take it away. Goes up for two. Easy one. Fakes it. Gets the ball and out faces his man down in the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. Accepted. Well, he puts pressure on a defense. What a great point guard. I love point guards that can really attack the defense. Right there, they missed him inside. You gotta get the ball when the guy is open. That's a special art, feet of the post. The Wildcats are trailing by 14. The center takes the pass. Tries to get the D to bite. Executes the baby hook. I tell you, didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking the shot when you make that turn. They'll work it around the arc. For two, the Wildcats have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. The Mountaineers are ahead by 16. Gave it up for two. And he missed. Great defense. There's the fake. High 
high post flashes for the opportunity. For the bucket. Whatever's left in the tank needs to be used, Dick, and it needs to be used right now. And he'll kick it back outside. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. With a little baby hook. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. The Mountaineers have done a great job recruiting as of late, and as a result, they've been regulars at the NCAA tournament. Basically, Brad, the program has grown and continues to grow. It's amazing what a few NCAA tournament wins will do for your team. That number's right here. There's a slam. Check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, it's obvious their backs are against the wall. It's going to take a lot of fight and desire to get back into this one. Defensive stops are the words that come to mind, and without them, they just don't have a chance. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Way out on top. What a facial on that one. Take a look right here. He explodes to the basket. That is a great play. These kids have all the momentum now. Look at them. They're celebrating. They're definitely having some fun out there. He'll go to the line. Hits that one. kick it back outside ball comes back out from the post out there Brad you gotta have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man he up fakes up and inside launches the three way off target Screen up on top. Kentucky have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. Steals a pass. Top of the circle, they work it around. He gets the rejection. Oh, what a great job transition offense. Poor job defensively. Don't get back. Don't stop the ball. And they were allowed to convert. Get the number game going. He tries the three. That was nice. That's spacing. He shoots from downtown. They can't stop this guy, Dick. Want to give him a try, Brad? If only my knees weren't aching. They work it around the perimeter. From beyond the arc. He gets the bucket to fall. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Take it away. Now they work it around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot.
Kicked out of the air. On the outside. Gets a hand in the way. Picks off the pass. from outside. These boys are slinging threes left and right, left, right, down the center, every play. Hey, they're going in from everywhere, baby. He missed on the steal. That's going to be the offense's game. Yes, sir. They got the advantage right there once he misses that gamble. He steps up to the line. Makes his first. Second shot is no good for the deuce. Two with a lay-in. Gave it up. Steals the pass. Dick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can get him the ball. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. He goes up strong, and that's going to be an offensive foul. Oh, great call by the official. He beat him to the spot. That's essential defensively. from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. And he'll kick it back outside. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing. He's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Look at him now, just enjoying the moment. I love the zest of the young man. Dancing with the cheerleaders. That's awesome, Brad. Dick, we all know how important it is to get to the free throw line. Well, there's no doubt about it. I think it's such an unbelievable plus. It means you're playing aggressive basketball, you're playing attacking basketball, and you're creating all kinds of foul problems for the opponent. Second shot, good. That line is really being good to him tonight, Dick. That line's always good, Brad. These guys just have to make good use of it. Picks off the lazy pass. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Too much. That's a foul. As we take a look here at our backcourt production. Hey, Brian, I'll tell you one thing. Productivity from the backcourt is a must. You must initiate the offense, distribute the ball, and score. These are all things that you rely on your backcourt to do. Looking for a good shot. Elio jumps in. Got to make that baby have that wide open angle. Have a chance to lay it on the glass for easy dudes. And Nick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. Off. 
Working it around the perimeter. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, straight to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help some. Let's watch the move as he works his man and on a fadeaway jumper. They are heating up this building where they're shooting right now, Dick. The hits just keep coming, baby. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up and get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Uh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. He intercepts it. Two sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Trying to draw the foul. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Looking for the foul. Basket falls despite the contact. found a player who cannot seem to miss it. But he's on fire. On the outside. Goes up for two. And he scores it off the glass. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, I don't know if you can hear it, but I can hear it clearly down here. The coach is stressing, go inside, go inside. They've been affected all night long that way. What an asset to have, guys. Thanks, Aaron. I'll tell you one thing, she's essentially right. Down to the post is where you create a lot of offensive action. it the other way for two sweet looking shot he is super he really is screener gets the worst of that screen with the elbow Side to the low block, unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Dick, I think the better team won. We can say that, and uh, it's heartbreak for the other club. But you know, you got to win it, and keep on going to get to that final Monday night game. Well, I tell you, when this game grab and you look at it, analyze it, because they really had all the right people shoot the ball at the right moment. They did a terrific job offensively. the State Farm drive of the game. I tell you, he was explosive. He was up, up, and away. What a drive to the rack, baby. That was special. 
West Virginia completes a five-game winning streak with a big, big win today. I'll tell you one thing, the coach doesn't want five, baby. He wants the Super Six because the six means the national championship, and they're ready to win number six and win the NCAA championship. So for Dick Vitale and Eric Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.